Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel for the next installment in our ongoing new figure showcase series, where I do a quick review and show off some very basic poses for a recent release that I'm adding into my own collection. And I'm back to look at Marvel today, and for today's episode, we'll be looking at Doctor Strange from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness by Hot Toys. Now, uh, full confession, this is my third Doctor Strange figure. I have the original from the first movie, which was a great figure and I still think holds up remarkably well. And then I have the one from Infinity War, but ultimately ended up passing on the one from No Way Home. While I love the diorama piece that came with that figure, um, the rest of it just seemed too similar to what I already had and I didn't feel like I could justify picking that up. Not to say that there was anything wrong with it, because it was a beautiful release overall, but as much as I would love to pick everything up, I just can't do that, right, from a budget perspective. And that No Way Home line by itself is a beast. But the Multiverse of Madness version was different enough to convince me to pick him up, plus I really liked the movie. Feels like I may be on the minority in that end, but I did enjoy it, and in particular, I loved Wanda becoming a villain. Again, I know based on social media that a lot of fans took issue with that, but for me that made the movie that much more interesting. So let's talk about this version of Doctor Strange and the movie for a little bit. I like the turn we got with Doctor Strange in the story, and I think for me, I realized very quickly into the start of it that a lot of the multiverse hype was self-made. And look, I, I was just as guilty as everyone else thinking we were going to see things like Tom Cruise cameoing as Iron Man or other moments like that. But at the end, it is just a Doctor Strange and Wanda story. So I found myself enjoying it tremendously, and I had to get the figures. So for this one, still waiting on the deluxe Scarlet Witch and the impressive looking that strange but let's take a look at this figure and uh what hot toys is giving us here and it's decent i think there are a fair number of accessories included some are similar to what we've gotten before but there are a bunch of new unique pieces to this set so you are getting a ton of hands meant to serve multiple purposes a bunch of accessories like the sling rings and then the magical effect pieces and the ones that especially caught my eye were when this guy went up for pre-order were those dragon pieces. And you also get an alternate sculpt, which we'll look at on the figure itself. And the stand is a little unique on this one, so it'll be worth looking at, uh, at a little bit more closely as well. But overall feels like a good package that will give you lots of potential display options. All right, so let's jump into the accessories and feel free to fast forward if you've already seen some of these in the past, but we'll start with the hands and they look awesome. Hot Toys has always done a great job with this character and the distinctiveness of the hands with the surgical scars. It's a great detail that really not just works, but I think is vital for him. As far as paint and detail work, really solid efforts here. And I love the ability to get all the uh, pre-posed hands to hold the magical effect pieces or just to pose up. Some figures don't really need them, but Doctor Strange definitely does benefit from having that variety. So again, solid looking hands. Next up, you get the, the handcuffs that Mordo and the Illuminati put on him during what I thought was a pretty awesome multiverse scene where we get to see Black Bolt, Professor X, Captain Carter, and Mr. Fantastic. All right, sorry, let me, let me not get sidetracked. Uh, so the cuffs are good. They're detailed nicely and have a good solid great paint app uh, along with all the details for the different components and that splash of green at the top to replicate the light feature from the movie. Also nice, nicely, they connect in the middle via a fairly strong magnet. And that's a big plus for me because sometimes we're trying to post figures with a piece like this. Uh, the accessory can get overstressed and you could end up with a break. So I like that Hot Toys took this magnetic approach to, to this piece. Next up, you get a set of accessories, um, many of which we've seen before with other Doctor Strange figures. So you do get the Eye of Agamotto that has a nice black and gold, I, I don't know what you would call it, kind of a chain of sorts. Curiously enough, if Steve Rogers did go back and returned all the Infinity Stones to avoid divergent timelines, does that mean that the Time Stone is still in here? Actually, sorry, that's just another random thought. Uh, all right, moving on. You also get uh, two sling rings. Um, I will say they're not 100% identical. Not sure if that was done on purpose or not, or if the camera's even able to pick things up, but, but there are different details at the surface of these. So they work. Nothing crazy to really focus on there. And then you get the Book of Ashanti, and, and I love these books. There's a ton of detail on the binding and the covers with that inlaid metallic look and the worn pages as well. You can open the book too, and there is writing inside, but all the pages, or at least the sets of pages, are identical. Not a deal breaker by any means, but just wanted to let you know. Um, and there is a class to hold the book closed, although I did find that mine tends to just fall off. Next up you get the magical uh, mandala effects and you get six pieces. Three for each arm with the varying sizes to fit around the figure's forearms and then the larger effect for the figure to hold. I did do a quick check with my original Doctor Strange and the patterns look similar. 
I'll look more carefully later on, but I, I think they might actually be identical. Only difference is the paintwork. Plastic here has some more variability in the effects with the darker oranges throughout, and there is that splash of white on the surface details that does make them stand out a little bit more. I'm pretty sure this is a case of if it's not broke, don't fix it from Hot Toys. They've worked in the past and there's no real need to upgrade. For me, I think the more unique accessories for each set allow for a slightly different setup, so not sure that these will make the cut for the permanent look on, on this version of Doctor Strange. Next, you get this elongated effect piece, kind of a magical strand. I do think this is new. I know it didn't come with the original or the Infinity War versions, and looking through the promo shots for the No Way Home uh, edition of Doctor Strange, I don't think this came with that one either, but please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Nothing crazy here. Good sculpting to give a nice flowing look, and some nice small pieces shooting off the primary strand, so it works and matches the other effects well. But the highlight of the set for me, these dragon-like viper effects. First of all, they look awesome. Heads look menacing and vicious, and I love the detail work on the top of the head with the translucent, almost like sail, um, or, or magical construct. Just looks awesome. And again, detail work on the eyes, the teeth, and the tongue, just impressive. Second of all, scale. They're big pieces, but without a doubt, for me, the most unique and standout accessories of the set. I love the effect pieces at the end where you see the translucent fire-like coil for the figure's hand to kind of slide in, but it gives you the feel of a snake kind of coiling around. And I like the little offshoots of magical effects all blending in nicely into the solid dragon head projections. It was a great moment in the movie, and I'm really happy Hot Toys basically replicated them here. And next, you do get the Cloak of Levitation, and this one is a little different. Uh, from the previous versions. Some of the differences are very subtle, and then you have the one blatant difference, which is the blue patch on the back. Look, tailoring on this has always been on point. Screen printed elements haven't really changed, nor has the trim along the edges, but the left shoulder piece is actually a little more rigid, almost like a pre-molded uh, and shaped element, and maybe the area around the collar has some minor updates as well. Nothing dramatic, again, beyond that blue patch, but again, a piece that poses well, and it has this amazing wiring in it that really lets you get some great poses. I think the these cloaks tend to be some of the best pieces overall when it comes to wired capes and accessories. And last piece to look at, the display base. Again, nothing fancy with the base itself, just a standard hexagonal one with the Doctor Strange name, but the flight pole is a little different. And I have to admit, not everything is great here. Um, so if you've had any of these, you know that usually the flight pole actually threads into a socket on the base, so you get a nice solid connection. Here, it's just pressure mounted, so you just have to slide the, the pole in, which is interesting. It works, but it was just... I, I don't know why they made the change. And then you get the secondary piece meant to hold the cloak and, and kind of pose that piece by itself like it's flying, like it does in the movie. And, and you get the clear plastic piece at the top to hold the cloak in place. I guess it works, just that the stand doesn't feel very sturdy to me. But again, a little different from what we've gotten before. Now let's get into the figures and start with the first sculpt. And props to Hot Toys, it looks incredible. It's really good. From a likeness perspective, down to all the detail work, capturing the iconic facial hair, and even capturing the details on the, the hair with the strands falling down in front of his forehead, it looks like a replica from the, from the movie directly, and, and it looks awesome. The eyes, again, very lifelike, and just the detail work throughout is impressive. Hot Toys definitely tends to do a great job catch, capturing Benedict Cumberbatch's likeness, and I like that for some reason with him, they have done new sculpts for most of the figure iterations. <clears throat> Not sure about the No Way Home version, but I, I do feel like Hot Toys has taken some effort with him, even if they are minor updates. And next up, you get the alternate sculpt with the third eye. Looks incredible as well. I think the base of the sculpt is the same with the main difference being the eye on the forehead and the different hairstyle. So again, detail and paint app wise, very impressed here. And it's great to get that alternate sculpt. I'm also gonna say the Hot Toy Sculptors did a better job with the eye than the visual effects we saw in the movie. You can see just from a comparison point of view, the sculpt looks so much more real. I did think it looked a little wacky in the movie though, so I don't know that I'll be using this, but it looks great and it's a nice option to have. <clears throat> now, as for the rest of the figure, tailoring is again phenomenal, and this is kind of the first new suit that Doctor Strange has gotten. Other releases had slight variations in the clothing, but this is pretty much new. The tunic itself has completely different detail work along the front with that light blue and red piece along um, along the front portion. Sleeves are different with much more detailing and the gauntlets too are meant to be more metallic versus the fabric you used to wear. And even the boots are completely different from the older ones. The older ones were actually a little more tactical in nature, whereas these just look more like something a little different and unique, right? Very appropriate to the character. So 
awesome look and nice upgrade that does slightly set him apart from those previous versions. And throw in the cloak and he looks great again. Although I do feel like that left shoulder piece does restrict posing a little. It does help the cloak drape more accurately and naturally, but it does also limit posability to a degree. So overall thoughts on this one. I do have some minor issues and, and I think let's start by saying the figure itself is amazing and a great addition to any MCU collection. So some of these issues are definitely going to fall into the nitpick zone maybe, but first off the cloak. Looks great, amazing detail like we discussed, and it connects to the figure with magnets like the previous versions, but the magnets are a little more finicky here. Once they lock onto the proper position, the cloak holds well, but any little reposing and they just fall off. It's kind of unfortunate, and even when putting the piece on the provided stand, I found that getting the cloak to sit properly, it can be done, just needs a bit of patience, and I think the magnets could have probably been a little bit stronger. And then wrist pegs. I swear you guys probably hate that I keep bringing this up, but the initial swap is a little hard and I had to use the old tried and true warm water method to get them to release. Once that was done, I did feel like most of the hands were easier to swap out, but just something to keep in mind. But look, besides those little issues I had, this figure just looks awesome and I love seeing the evolution of Doctor Strange. I might actually do a follow-up video comparing the three versions I have, just a quick one to see the subtle differences, but for this version, that he turned out great he looks awesome he's got a great sculpt great tailoring on, on the clothing and those effect pieces with the dragon viper pieces they just add a uniqueness to the figure that sets him apart from everyone else and that's definitely how i'm inclined to showcase him for the long run but look another great hot toys release and one i'm happy to add to the collection uh and just continue growing that mcu set and i'm looking forward to to getting the other releases from the line so let me know your thoughts on this one. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you are enjoying the content, please consider dropping a like, comment, and subscribing if you haven't. And we'll touch base on the next video.